The real fight back against the globalist agenda of cashless society is surprisingly starting in Iran by the pro-freedom and anti-Islamic Republic Iranians. Ever since the uh, Iranian uprising started um, three months ago and still going on, I've been saying we could learn a couple of things from the pro-freedom Iranians, from the Persians to the Kurds and everybody else. A couple of things. One is this revolution is very pro-liberty. They've already pre-written pre -written the next constitution, the moment the Islamic nutters go, and the constitution is essentially the American constitution without the Second Amendment. And they are also very vocal about the fact that they don't want foreign intervention. They don't want the globalists to come and take over their agenda and their fight for freedom. And this video that they've done, they've been sharing it across social media, is about the fight inside Iran when it comes to money, using money, utilizing money, but also for the future Iran that they're going to create. So there's this video that has been going around, obviously it's in Persian, so I'm just going to basically t t tell you the gist of it, uh, is about the fact that right now there is a, a, a consistently a very, very good movement on general strikes. And if you want to do a general strike, firstly you do it in dictatorships because that's the best way to bring it down. And general strike doesn't mean uh, oh, trade union members and uh, like the bureaucrats and civil servants or the postal workers going on strike for two days. No, 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 no. General strike, a real revolutionary way, you shut down the economy. Every shop is closed, every private business is closed, every public building, uh, public workers are not working because this is a long-term campaign to within the next year or two, even if it continues, uh, then there's no revenue for the government. And everybody, and also in this video, they're talking about how you withdraw your cash from the banks, any transaction, that you're going to have in society with your you know, shopkeepers or anybody else that they have this sort of things to tell and sell you or you want to give money to someone that you know use cash always use cash because it's outside the government control that does matter massively because everything is about government control because if you use bank transactions uh, then of course uh, there's always a there's a fee that goes to the government all the time but they also have full control and they've been warning it when it comes to this video and everything else that this is not just for the fight uh, for the current situation to not give money to the Iranian state, but this is a reminder to appreciate the concept of cash that is going away, that we are now talking about digital currencies. Now we're talking about the governments and states and the international institutions having control over what you spend and what you spend it on and how you do it. And this is a problem. If you have cash, if you keep cash, if you use cash, you are your own boss. You are your own king rather than having a dictator telling you what to do. Now, on the issue of the digital currencies, uh, the next video in, in about half an hour, we're going to come back and tell you guys about Rishi Sunak's digital currency. They're using the treasury, her majesty, his majesty's treasury. Uh, they are officially starting it. Uh, they're officially starting the the implementation of the program so by 2030 that's an interesting date 2030 and they're going to have the full society using digital currencies instead of cash and that is very dangerous subscribe to the channel if you want to watch that video in a few minutes amaya tc and we are the media